Hello, this is Daniel March back again, and we are going to be doing another vlog, another behind the scenes video. And this time it's going to be for the private screening slash premiere of Zombie Jesus Vampire Hunter. So, what the hell am I talking about? So, Zombie Jesus Vampire Hunter is a short film slash episode. It was like the pilot episode of a web series, but, the, but only one episode was ever made. And that was made all the way back in 20... 2016 2017 if i'm not mistaken since then that project has developed into a whole different animal um gus gustavo avilas he is the director producer of this entire project he from what i recall correctly he started that project off as a comic book a graphic novel which he has actually developed into a graphic novel in its own right and he began that as a graphic novel and eventually he got inspired to make it into a web series and again i only they, he only ever did one episode and I was in the premiere episode. However, since then, and especially during the pandemic, he really developed that story that that he wanted to do it and turn it into a movie, question mark? I, I think it's a short film or a movie, something like that. But it's, but it's no longer going down the down the web series slash episodic route. Again, the only, the only episode that was ever made available was the one I was in. And there, I basically got quite, literally got killed by Jesus. It's an intense scene, as you guys could probably tell. It's Jesus, you know. It's like Jesus of all, of all things. So yeah. So why am I going to a screen of a film project that I did all the way back in in 2016, 2017? Is because, like I said, he developed it and he's converted that project into a feature film slash short film. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if it's a feature film or a short film. I just know that it's no longer gonna be episodic, from what I understand. And yeah and since i've always been part of the production in some sense ever since the initial concept back then ever since back in 2016 2017 since i've been there since the start and i've always been in communication with gus um over the years and because i kind of helped him cast this new project in a sense um i recommended danilo roca who i worked with on sick minded which actually just became available on amazon prime yesterday funny enough for yesterday as of the time i'm filming this video um, so since I helped him get get Danilo Roca uh, part in that film, and since I've always talked about him, and since it's always been a big part of him uh, and his filmmaking career or just career in general, um, you know, I guess he just wanted to invite me, and that's why I'm going there. So, yeah, that's basically it. So I'm gonna go see what's up. This is gonna be at Saber Cinema at six. It is currently uh, four thirty essentially. So I'll be there in about an hour and a half. So just wanted to do this quick intro before we get there. And as usual, just wanted to do a quick fit check. So there we go, monk strap shoes. Uh, this is a corduroy pants, chocolate brown pants. This this blazer, not blazer, but it's like a long coat, sports coat that I got from Depop that I always get complimented on when, every time I wear it. And then this paisley, which is more of a pink, if you guys can see it's right there, with like some pink and white. So very cool, and then black necklace. Then I don't have them on right now, but I do have some black rings I'm gonna be wearing with this. And of course my glasses, cause I kinda need to see somehow. So yeah, that's basically the fit. So yeah, with all that being said, I'll see you guys right there at Saber Cinema. Okay, and I am I am here. Sorry for the bad lighting. Just wanted to do this quick little thing here, filming here in the back. So bad lighting, go figure. So yeah, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. He said, Gus, the director, he said there's about 100 to 150 people he's expected to come, which are people who have worked on this project as a whole. 
whether it be the original short film slash episode to the comics to to the to the, just to this film i still haven't gotten word of it's a feature film or a short film i'm leaning more towards it's a feature film but there's another thing that i'm kind of curious about and that's it if it's going to be a sick minded situation where they kind of shoved portions of the original film like the original short film into this feature film because that's what they did in sick mind as well which funny enough like i said earlier came out yesterday i did that film this video so i don't know i just i just want to kind of funny how that could potentially have happened twice and i'm kind of i'm honestly excluding anthology films i have done because obviously but yeah i mean overall we're just going to move the start um i'll be showing one because i'll be like meeting and greeting right now in the lobby and it's good so far so far all i got i got some stuff to eat slash drink drink i got a coke right here coke um some chips cool ranch because i like cool ranch and then some nerds um i asked for a hot dog but they didn't have hot dogs um it's one of those that would have taken a long time again i'm not no nah, i don't care that much to get hot dogs maybe i'll go get popcorn later but that's about it um i'm not pretty cool and let me just show you the audience one more time so then that's the audience right there so yeah i'll be so yeah i'll be sure to get pictures i'll be sure to get my videos and then tell you what i think of the film at the end Whatever this turns out, and go from there. See y'all later. I'm back. So yeah, it's been a few days after the event, after the screening for Zombie Jesus Vampire Hunter. And here I am, just wanted to give my final thoughts on the whole experience and my thoughts on the movie and everything that happened. And yeah, and also in that time, I got a haircut, <laughs> which is great. I haven't had a haircut, or I haven't had hair this short since almost June, July of last year. Uh, for the past year, essentially, it's been to medium, medium to long hair, or at least what I consider long hair. So it's good to finally have it this short. I really like it. So yeah. But on to the actual event itself, I think it was good. So I did comment on the fact that I wasn't sure on what the deal is with the movie. If it's like a feature film or what the deal was or if it's like a short film. So it's basically they're on that borderline of feature and short film. It's like 50 minutes long. So by technicality standards, it is a feature film. But it's a very short feature film. And 
I also did comment on the fact that I wasn't sure if footage from the original pilot episode that I was in, if that was going to be used and if I was going to appear. And it's one of those situations where it's like a yes and no type of situation. So there was footage and there was stuff from that film, from that pilot episode that was filmed. I mean, that, sorry, that was featured in this feature film. But me, myself, I was not in the feature film, which I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit sad about, especially because one of the shots or scenes that they did use did come from my scene. So they just kind of cropped it out, or not really cropped it out, they just kind of chose the one bit where I wasn't in the frame, if that makes sense. But, and it is what it is. But overall, it was just really great. I, th I thought the film overall was really good. Um, it is actually a lot more surreal and experimental than I thought it would have been, if I'm being honest. And... I think that was kind of interesting to see. I don't know if I fully agree with the choices they made in the way they, they chose to do their experimentalization, if that makes sense. And yeah, that's the thing with like experimental cinema and, and surreal cinema sometimes, because sometimes it's so trippy and so out there that you it's kind of hard to comprehend some of their choices sometimes. And in this case, I did understand why they made the choices they did. I just don't think they should have done it, if I'm being honest. I just, for me, it just, it just felt like they kind of cheated a bit. In, in the filmmaking um i'm not gonna say what they did but you know it, it's one of those things i edit for me it just didn't leave a good taste in my mouth that being said from an editing standpoint from an editing standpoint it was amazing it's, it's very well edited with all the footage they have and how even and how they made it in this experimental way i think from an editing standpoint it's just great i just don't agree with some of the elements they did or used for that editing thing if that makes sense and it probably doesn't because you guys don't know what the film is about or you guys don't know how the film is. And I don't want to spoil that. Um, that being said, I, the story was interesting. Again, the story is interesting, but it's also just very trippy because it goes through time. It goes from basically like the the resurrection of Jesus to like almost modern day in World War II and everything that happens. There's a lot of time travel stuff, so to speak, from there. And again, it's based off his comic that he that he wrote, the graphic novel of Zombie Jesus Vampire Hunter. That's Gustavo Avilas's comic i was actually kind of surprised that he didn't sell the comic or like issues with the comic or the graphic novel at the screening if i'm being honest because i've seen that happen at other screenings where where the artist or the filmmaker will try to sell like dvds of that that project or that or previous works or maybe they're gonna sell like uh, some of their books or something like they're gonna try to sell something else um that they've done or some of their other collaborators have done they'll sell that at their screening you know and to varying degrees of, of success and i'm kind of surprised that he didn't do that but at the same time it kind of makes sense why he didn't like no you, you don't always have to push something on it um but yeah i do overall that overall despite the fact that i don't agree with some of their uh, some of their experimental choices i guess is the best way to put it um i still think it was overall a very successful film i will say even though the editing is great it did become because it's so much editing so to speak and because they're doing a lot of quick cuts and a lot of like montages and whatever it did kind of get a little bit i did end up having a little bit of a headache towards like the end like the last 10 15 minutes so i will say that so take that for what you will but yeah i mean overall i thought it was a really fun film i thought it was a really great film and then just seeing everybody else at at, at the screening um i saw gustavo who i haven't seen since like almost i don't know since around the pandemic um, I think I saw him randomly once at a, at a festival at around the pan rep I don't know if it was right before or, or shortly after the pandemic, but uh, yeah, so I haven't seen him in a number of years. I saw Danilo there who had, who he portrays Judas in this film, and I've worked with Danilo a number of times on Sick Minded, on 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 spending some time together, so I've worked with him on, on a few other stuff, so that was great. I got to see Rosmania again, which is another person who was on the, who had worked on this film, and back in the original pilot, I saw him. I saw Emilio again, which is the makeup artist for this for this for this film, who again was also the makeup artist back in the original film. And he also did makeup for U Driver, which is a film that I did with Jace Elton, a fan film that I did back with Jace Elton. So, you know, I worked with them. So it was great to see a bunch of other people here. Um Jack Kierski was also here who who I've done a few of the projects with in the past. So, you know, it's just great to see great to see a bunch of people here. And it was like I think I said this maybe, maybe 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 not, but I think I said this earlier, but I was surprised by how many people were there because I, I actually expected this to be a much smaller affair, like 30, 40 people, something like that. You know, cast and crew and maybe some special guests plus a few plus ones. And that's what I expected. But no, this is clearly over 100, maybe even 150 people here at the screening. So that was great. And yeah, they're going to go into film festival circulation now. And I'm really excited to see what comes out of it. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to do a second one or if he's going to continue on with doing this because it is all because again, it's based on his graphic novel. And I'm not 
I haven't read the graphic novel, but I do want to read it. I do want to read it and look through it. But because of that, I'm not sure like if the story, if this is just the one story, but he's going to continue it afterwards. But yeah, overall, it was just great, um, a great screening. And yeah, that's really all I have to say. It's it's fun. I'm really happy to see how this project has developed in, all, in the past what, like seven, eight years since this first came into fruition, and maybe even before that, before even my involvement. So that was great. We there there was a Q and A for the for the actors, and and there, I got a small shout out as being one of the original actors from the original short film. So that was great to have a small little shout out. So I so I did like that. Um, felt like my work in the film was recognized to a certain degree, or you know, even before the film, I guess you could say. But yeah, um, I mean that's really all I have to say. It was a really fun film. It was a really great event. Um. Overall, I do think that even, overall, I do think that this film is gonna find success in some capacity. People are gonna like it. Even I do think people are gonna, even though I don't personally agree with those or the some of the elements that made this film so experimental, I, I do think a lot of people are gonna enjoy it. So I was, I was kind of in the minority in that in that aspect, in that respect, I was honestly a bit in the minority. Um, everybody thought that was actually such an innovative thing and such an amazing thing to do. So it's one of those things. I I'm definitely in the minority in in that opinion. But see, even then, it's one of those things like. You know, you know the genre, I guess, with the confines that you're working in. So, it makes sense. So, like, I understand why they did it. I understand why they, why they shot it. And I do think that they did the best they could, mixing in those things, those elements that they had into that surrealist experimental version of it. Again, I just don't agree with how they, with some of the elements that they used. And that's really the only thing. But yeah, I, I just want to say that they, because of what they did, they probably just should have planned ahead and just shot more footage. It's really what it comes down to it. Uh, but I also think that. Part of the reason they they did it like that is because they don't have a big budget to for like special effects and visual effects and stuff like that. So it, so again, it's kind of a give and take. And it's one of those things that either way, I understand why they did it like that. But um, overall, really great. That's basically it. And yeah, that's basically it for this event for the screening. And yeah, hope you you guys enjoyed coming along with me on this on this adventure. And yeah, that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.